I bet I'm going to do a lot of rocking in this video. <laughs> but, anyway, uh, since my last couple of videos have been uh, about dogs, mostly. Yeah, about, about my dogs. Uh, I just thought I'd uh, do a, a video uh, about animals and uh, uh, children with autism. Because I've read online uh, in a few places that say uh, that animals uh, will uh, greatly help kids with autism. Uh, they can significantly uh, improve their behavior and create a positive social behaviors. I'm reading it off my laptop. Yeah, it, they, there's a few studies out there that that uh, that say a families who have autistic children and a pet uh, will the the pet will will uh, greatly help the the child. Uh, and yeah, I, I agree with that because animals don't talk. I think that's the main reason. So, so you, uh, the kid can do or, or say anything to the animal and the won't uh, the, the pet won't care or won't judge the animal. I mean, the animal won't judge the ch child. Ah, I can't talk today. It's probably not the only reason, but I think it's the main reason. Because the animals, they'll love anyone who treats them well and cares for them. So yeah, I I'm not surprised that that pets help uh, autistic ch kids. The this uh, uh, other study says that even with families uh, who have autistic kids but don't have any pets, uh, a lot of those families say that the their kids still enjoys interacting with uh, animals and it's mainly dogs uh, that that these studies are based on it, it's helped me I, I know I've had dogs uh, all my life like my my parents they each had a dog when they got married so then I had we had two dogs uh, when I was a baby, and then we then we got another dog uh, when uh, I was really young from a from a friend. I think I've, I've talked about this in another video, uh, but but we we got that dog. Uh, her name was Tasha, and my my uh, dad uh, was just at a softball game or softball practice, and he he came home with the uh, a puppy because uh, one of one of his friends on the team couldn't couldn't uh, take care of the dog, so that's how we got got that dog, Tasha. And then, uh, interesting, I uh, also, uh, me and my family, uh, also uh, trained a guide dog puppy. Uh, 
it, it was was this uh, uh four H uh four four H project. I got uh, involved was this this uh I guess it's a chapter of a, a charity local chapter where they yeah, each each person gets a guide dog puppy from like the time they're six or eight weeks old and you raise them for uh one to one and a half years and then they go off and hopefully uh become a real guide dog which is actually exactly what happened with my family we we got a a yellow lab. Uh, his name was Ozark, like the mountains. But we didn't pick the name. They they do. And th these dogs are bred specifically for uh, uh for becoming a guide dog. It's, uh. Which, which helps a lot, and, and uh, he, he was he was really good. He was a really good dog, and he he did go off uh, back to to the uh, organization after about a year and a half, which was really hard to let him go, but. You, you knew it from the beginning, so it, so you, you knew it was coming. And he went off and uh, did get paired with a, a blind man. Uh, he he lived in Virginia, and my family actually went out to see him. Uh, we we visited. Ozark when we were back east this one time and he, he was doing really great and really happy and the the guy said he, he's a great dog too <laughs> so I'm, I'm yeah I'm glad I did that we only did it once only trained one dog we could have done it more but we, uh, uh, we just thought once was enough. <laughs> so it, it, it worked out really well. And, but I, uh, unfortunately, uh, a few years ago, we, uh, I got a letter saying that, uh, a letter from the guy saying that, uh, Ozark had, suffered some sort of gastrointestine uh, uh, infection or or something and and they they had to uh, put him down so 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 I'm sad that he, he's not he's not around anymore. He was with the guy for six or seven years, at least. Yeah. So, so, so he he had a, he had a really good life, and I'm glad I'm glad I did that. And and of course now, if you've seen my other videos. My family has two two dogs, uh, Buddy and Lola, and then I talk about Buddy and his problems. But he, he's he's back to his old self now, so he's still hanging in there. See how long I can go for without rocking. Uh, but anyway, uh, back to the, to the topic, uh, 
the the uh, stuff I've read says that animals can uh, significantly improve an autistic child's well-being, but it's important to uh, to to uh, get uh, the right animal for the child. Like if, if the the uh, child is uh, uh, over overly sensitive to sound, you don't want to get a dog that uh, barks a lot and really loud. So it it uh, depends a lot on the the animal and where whether or not they're a a, a good fit with the child. But anyway, that that's gonna be it. So uh, until next video, and I'm rock rocking again.